patients and their views and really deliver what patients want. So as I said, I was telling you about this survey and it is around uh, patients around 14 year old have asthma. Mm. And if the, um, there would be profile of that in reception, and half of the patients would take their profile into the doctor, and half of them wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And it was really to assess would the doctor actually treat them differently if they knew their profile, would they manage them in, in a different way? So, what was the profile? What, did, what extra information did some of the doctors get? Because we well, want to know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what we're doing, we're evaluating all the questionnaires at the moment then. Mm -hmm and seeing the impacts and we've sort of just done the first run of it uh, and now we're going to have a look at the results and continue through. But what we did is we helped the practice to collect the results in a very efficient manner. So they would do it on pen and paper and then straight away as they finished that would go into a database and then the paper would be taken into the practice doctor. Mm. So, um, so there's no time delay no until you've got delay. it straight away. And were the questions, were they, were they about them as individuals rather than health related questions so that the doctor could maybe relate better to them or? Yes, it was more about them as a person, nothing to do okay. with their asthma. Give me an example of the question. Right, what I'm doing, I'm just getting <laughs> a questionnaire sent down to me. Because I can't actually remember what was on the questionnaire. It'd just be interesting to know what it was, wouldn't it? Yeah. Whether it was because obviously as doctors, I suppose routinely we'd say, "How are you? How's your asthma? Is it disturbing you? Is it bothering you? Are you do coffee? You know, your very routine questions." And I guess as a teenager, particularly a teenage asthmatic, that's really you know they don't want to be carrying them and hanging around with them. Human. Yeah. Yeah. They don't get on no, no. and so it would be useful to know exactly that whether what they thought. Okay, you know, actually, I'm not bothered with my asthma, or actually, no, it is a big thing for me, and or I don't want to talk to my parents about it. So it's actually kind of probably getting that extra layer of information that we probably clinically never even ask. Actually, yes. yeah. Yeah. We're actually going to do some more work with asthma patients, yeah. and the, the young asthma patients. This perception is that I just don't want to take my stick and this stuff. And we're actually going to engage in a program using mobile phones. Um, so uh, texting them or yes, it's, it's a, but it's like a two-way text. Mm. So as soon as they put the information in, it goes back into a database. But it's also helping them to adhere and reassurance messages. Mm -hmm. This is okay. This is okay. And really trying to move them. So mm -hmm. we're actually going to do a project with the primary care trust um, to try and help that compliance piece with asthma. Because it, you know, so who who email, texts them? Who emails them? We, uh, as a company, that's the sort of services we provide. So we'd have the program all scheduled and set up, mm -hmm. and then depending on the profile of the patient, they'd have different messaging coming to the course of the first month, second month, three months. Is it motivational? Or motivational, coaching? motivational coaching, uh, and part of it, mm -hmm. part of it as well. We are thinking of having a short clips on the phone as well that they can just watch. That's what they do. Another 14 year old talking about this. Mm. Just like, sorry, demonstrating how to use this in here. Yes, everything that needs to be, you know, that needs to be done. Um, you know, reassurance. Because a 14 year old will listen to a 14 year old, don't they? Absolutely, yes. Whereas they're not quite exactly. to listen to them. Exactly, so let them, let them to be talked to by their own people group. Mm. So we're actually doing a lot of that. We're doing a lot on concordance. The smoking cessation as well. Again, if you can profile the smoker in the first place, know when they're likely to mm. start smoking, then you can start doing relative messaging at that particular time. Mm. So if they're a social smoker, you know, probably on a Friday night, or very clever. It might be a good time. Very strategic. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yes. But two way and collect it. Mm. Collect it and then see the difference. So we're going to got one smoking cessation, we've got one on statins as well, because again, I would love to know about that because I have a child on Saturdays. Really? Mm. That's the one who wouldn't be with you, mm. Sam. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we're going to do a, a statin compliance one as well. How does that work? Again, similar sort of thing. Let's capture perhaps some results on there at the start mm. of the class. Let's see, you know, if the medication is making a difference to those results. That's quite motivational for them too. Yes. You see that when they take it, something changes. Exactly. So their target is going to be lowered. Mm. And then through that process, Again, remind them to take it, cholesterol synthesised at night, take it at night. You know, that all can make a difference. Yeah. And perhaps remind them until they have taken it. So did you take it today? Mm. Yes, I did. Okay, you're not going to get more text. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Motivate them to 
can do. It is important for you. Some health yeah. messaging as well. Yeah. It is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The statins is an interesting one because actually I suspect it's generally a slightly older age group who might not be quite so into the texting. So are you just doing texting or are you...? No, it is a via internet as well, but actually you'd be surprised at the number of people who have got phones not actively using them. Yeah. You know, you'd actually be surprised there's so many more, uh, all age groups, who, who, who are having them. And it's an increasing market. So M Health is really good. Mm. Yeah, it's really interesting. Actually. Yeah.